Thursday, September 12th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $24. One Bitcoin is $126. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. 165 years ago, 10 years after he escaped slavery, Frederick Douglass wrote the following to his former slave master, quote, I entertain no malice towards you personally. There is no roof under which you would be more safe than mine, and there is nothing in my house which you might need for your comfort, which I would not readily grant. Indeed, I should esteem it a privilege to set you an example as to how mankind ought to treat each other. I am your fellow man, but not your slave. Frederick Douglass A judge ordered heroic Ed N.J. Weedman Fortune back into a state cage this week. The state lawyer complained that N.J. Weedman was supposed to do probation, but he never did. Probation is when a person is told by a state agent that he must report to a state building on a regular basis to pee into a cup for a state worker and have the results analyzed in a state lab to make sure he wasn't using his body in a way that state bureaucrats don't approve of. Many question the effectiveness of this practice. N.J. Weedman will serve out the rest of his 270-day sentence in Burlington County Jail in Mount Holly, New Jersey. However, 10 days out of every month, he'll be released from jail to go back to California to receive injections for the painful leg growths from his bone cancer tumors. Then, he must go back to jail. N.J. Weedman said the state's medical marijuana law is broken. Quote, The purpose of the Compassionate Use Act was to protect patients from prosecution, and that's what's happened to me. I'm a medical marijuana patient. The law has gotten to be pretty irrelevant. I'm not complying with the law, and I will smoke marijuana for my own health needs, and I'm sure there are plenty of other people who do the same thing. The judge just wasted a bunch of resources of the community by jailing me for possession of my medicine. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Store your bitcoins in the free bitcoin wallet app at blockchain.info. A TSA screener at the LA International Airport was arrested yesterday on suspicion of making terroristic threats to inflict damage more devastating than 9-11. The letters were filled with religious references and said America, quote, will be reduced to nothing. Who hired this guy to be an agent of the federal government? Is this who you want going through your luggage? Reason.com reports this week that a new poll finds that opposition to intervention in Syria is higher among military than the general public. What does this tell you? Despite its unpopularity, Barack Obama gave a speech this week making his case to go to war with Syria. In it, he explained how it would be different from Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya because it would be a controlled strike with a clear objective. I think we've heard that before. And Americans aren't the only ones who aren't buying it. The British have already made clear their opposition to intervention, and the international community is in agreement. Obama recently visited Stockholm to convince the Swedish government to join NATO and support the U.S. attack on Syria. In response, 3,000 protesters organized a spontaneous protest in the streets. The crowd identified itself as left-leaning, anti-war, anti-secrecy, and anti-torture. But while overnight coalitions are forming across the world to protest Obama's new war, Americans remain confined to their information bubble. BuzzFeed this week featured an article titled, 14 Principled Anti-War Celebrities We Fear May Have Been Kidnapped. Hollywood was up in arms during Bush's wars. Where is their moral outrage now? At least one celebrity isn't afraid to let free speech rock the boat. The Superficial.com reports this week that culture jammer Russell Brand used his spotlight at the GQ Man of the Year Awards to joke about the fact that Hugo Boss, the event's sponsor, made a fortune selling uniforms to the Nazis. While it's true that the fashion designer was later convicted of supporting Nazis, the Hugo Boss reps didn't find Brand's joke to be funny. Shortly afterwards, Brand was kicked out and uninvited from the after party. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. I want you to share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>